So the sample has now been baking for four minutes at 95 degrees. I turned off the lights because right now these lights are still uh, white. Uh, we still need to install the yellow foil on top of it. So ideally this should be uh, a yellow light like the rest of the room. Uh, but because this is now a thin film and it is uh, sensitive to UV light, even though the amount of UV light coming through here is, is really minimal, um, it's a good idea to turn it off uh, if, if you don't have yellow lights. So I will now take off uh, the sample to cool it down. It will get a little bit sticky now because there will inevitably be some SU8 um, on the bottom surface. So you want to just prod it to the edge of the hot plate, pick it up and leave it to cool down on a clean piece of paper for about uh, one minute. Okay. While the sample is cooling down, I can prepare the sample holder for the laser writer. So this is one of the two sample holders that we've got. We've got this one and we've got uh, this other one, which is for the four inch wafer. So the four inch wafer would go in here. Um, and in this one, you can put the, uh, the standard Microsoft glass side in this rectangular aperture. And in the circular one, we can put the two inch wafer. So you want to undo these three screws. And the third one here. And now you're ready to lift up uh, the top plate. So as you lift it up, just be careful not to stick your fingers on this, these uh, little clips. So what is actually holding the sample in place inside the holder are these little spring clips. So you see uh, that they are quite fragile, so you don't want to stick your finger and possibly break one of these. And uh, the screws themselves actually don't hold the sample, it's the spring clips that hold the sample in place. So I can now go back to uh, the, the sample itself. You can use tweezers for this step, I prefer to use actually just gloves and be careful to handle the sample by the edges. And the reason for that is that you need to put the sample in the holder upside down. Okay, so I'm going to take it with me here. And now the coated side is uh, this one on the top and I need to take the holder and flip it over so the coated side is actually facing the floor. So once you put the sample in place, you need to check very carefully that it's sitting in the grooves uh, which have been designed on the holder. If the sample is, is, has one of the edges sitting on top of the groove and not inside it, uh, you might get too much tilt and you will not be able to compensate for it inside the laser writer machine once you do the leveling procedure. So make sure that the sample is sitting in the right place and on the right side. And once you're comfortable that that is the case, you can take the top plate and you can put it over as before. And it just go, slots in like that and you put in the three screws. So for the screws themselves, because the plate is not holding the sample itself, but it's the spring clips that are holding the sample in position, you don't want to overdo this, okay? So you want to be quite delicate with these screws. So what I normally do is just to um, make them finger tight, not even using the, the top of the Allen key, but just, uh, just finger tight um, on all three. Okay, so we are now ready to put the sample in the uh, laser writer, so from the software, I'm going to eject the sample tray. So usually take uh, 10, 10 seconds to a minute, depending on what configuration the machine is in. Also turn on. Apparently this light is, uh, has been designed so it doesn't have any UV components that can expose the photoresist. And once this is completely open, you can line up the top of the plate with the top edge of the holder and you slide it in and as you slide it in at some point you'll hear it click. Okay, and once that is in position don't push it up with your hands but rather go back to the software and click the load button and wait for the load to be complete. When the uh, port closes, it doesn't mean that the load is, completely, is, is actually completed, so you have to check on the software that the instruction um, appears that the load has been completed. Okay.